Hi reception. So yesterday we started our new story, Rag the Rat, and we managed to read two whole pages, didn't we? So we're going to carry on today, but before we do, have a think about what our story was about and what information we've learned from it already. We know that the animal is a rat and we've learned that his name was Rag. Do you remember what was special about Rag the Rat? He was a magician, which meant that he could do magic. Can you have a little remember about what the first thing was that he managed to come out of his hat? I'll give you a clue. It rhymes with rat and hat. It was a bat. Shall we carry on reading today and see what else he does? Okay, we're going to flip over and we're going to go back to the page where we started yesterday because we've segmented yesterday and now we're just going to have a little refresh by reading it. Here we go. Rockets up, rockets down, rag the rat with his big top hat. Well done, keep going. Wraps it, taps it and up pops a bat. We were right, we remembered that it was a bat. Superstar, we're going to go and turn over now and find out what else this story might be about? So, we should be on page eight. Oh, have a look at these beautiful illustrations here. What can you see? Do they give you any sneaky clues about what's going to happen? There's a little bat. Oh, it's going over the animal's heads. Oh, I wonder what else I might come out of Rag's hat later. First of all, back to page eight. Here we go. Go. Fred hands ready. K ooh app clap. K ooh app clap. Clap. Can you do it? Clap. 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 Oh, I wonder what's going to happen. Let's go to page nine. We have our capital R again. Do we remember what sound R makes? R. Here we go. Let's segment. R a g rag the. R-at, rat, w-if, with, is, his, b, ig, big, t, op, top, at, hat. Let's go again now about out segmenting. Rag the rat with his big top. The rat with his big top hat. There's our rhyming words again, rat and hat. Let's find out now what's about to happen. We know this because we've just read it on the other page. Let's see if we can say it without segmenting it. Wraps it taps it. Can you do it? Wraps it taps it. Let's get our Fred hands ready again. And, and, up, up, p, up, pops, a, k, at, cat, and, up, pops, a, cat, wraps, it, taps, it, and, up, pops, a, cat. Were you right? Did you think the cat was going to come next out of his hat? Give yourselves a woo woo. Let's find out. Now we know what this word says because we did read it over this page. Here we go. Clap, clap, clap. I think they say, well done, Rag the Rat. That is very clever. Let's go to the top of this page again then. Rag the Rat with his big top hat. Wraps it. Taps it and up pops a cat. Well done. What did the audience say? They said clap, clap, clap. 
What do you think is going to happen next in the story? We've had a bat, we've had a cat. What else do you think it could be? Have a little think. And when you're ready, turn over to page 10. Okay, are we ready? We've almost finished our story. Fred hands ready. We don't need to segment this top line because we should be experts at it now. Rag the rat. Well done. Carry on there. Let's get our Fred hands out again. If with it's his big, big top, top, at, hat. From the beginning, rag the rat with his big top hat. Well done. We're not going to segment this part either. Here we go. Wraps it, taps it. Fred hands ready. And, and, up, up, p ops, pops, a, m, a, another rhyming word. Up pops a mat. Let's go from the beginning. Rag the rat with his big top hat. Wraps it, taps it and up pops a mat. Well done. This time I'm going to read the sentence and you're going to carry on when I stop. So be looking very carefully, here we go. Rag the rat with his... Well done, my turn. Wraps it, taps it, and up. Pops a mat, well done. Shall we find out? Oh, I can see in this illustration. They are all on top of the mat. I wonder where the mat is going to take them. It looks like a magical mat. Let's have a look. Flap, 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 flap. Oh, the mat is flapping. It's probably going to try and get it up into the sky. So where do you think they would? They are going on their magical mat. And where would you like to go on your magical mat? I think I would take the mat to the beach. Oh, and I could relax and have an ice cream with beautiful sunny weather and a beautiful blue sea. Where would you like to go? So that is the end of our story. I'm going to turn over though, because mums and dads might like to see that on the next page, of all of these stories, there are some comprehension questions. So we've done great segmenting and we've done great blending. And now we're going to have a look at what some of these questions say. So first question, you might have to go back in your book and see if you can find out the answer. What does Rag the Rat wear? What does he wear on page six? I'll give you a little clue. We talked about that on the other video. What does he do to make his hat magic? What were those words that he says to make his hat magic? Do the other animals like the magic show? And how do you know? Go to page eight and see what they were doing. You might have to read the words. We talked about it before. What did they do to show that they probably did like the magic show? What three things pop out of Rack's hat? Now we know that they all rhyme, so there's a sneaky little clue for you. What happens at the end of the story? What happens on that last page of the story? And have you ever seen a magician? Well done reception, you have been amazing. Please let me know if you've read any of the other books on the main screen as well. Here's a little checklist from today. Did you read the speed sounds? Check. Can you read the green words? Check. Can you read the red words? Check. Did you read the story? Check. And can you answer the questions about the story as well? You've been amazing. See you soon. Bye reception.